Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Knives Monroe and on this video, we're going to be discussing the Nightcore CW10. If you're a photographer like me and you've ever dreamed of being able to control the wind, well now you can. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Well, let's open it up, shall we? And this is what we have right here. The Nightcore fan, as well as, yep, that's it. And you will notice that the battery is not included. Now I do want to say that the battery is not included. That is why I have my trusty MP battery from Nightcore here with me. I'll show you how I plug that in. And we go ahead and just put it in here like that. That's it. The Nightcore CW10 is a small but powerful cordless wind hair blower specifically designed for photographers seeking to capture the perfect fashion portrait for their next photo shoot. Featuring a 32 watt brushless motor, the CW10 offers stepless wind control speed, allowing you to adjust the wind output to your preference at all times. At its highest setting, the CW10 can reach a wind speed of 31.1 miles per hour. That's pretty crazy. With a compact diameter of only 4.33 inches, weighing just 4.23 ounces, the CW10 is lightweight and easily fits into any carrying bag, ideal for your next photography session. So here's the operation guide. This is basically how it works. This is the on and off switch. Press and hold for two seconds to turn on. One, two. As you can see, it makes some noise and we're at the one setting right there. Now these are stepless levels. You may remember back in the day, those fans that had three modes, low, medium, and high. This is stepless, so it completely goes from one to 100. Low, high, so basically you have 100 speed options to choose from, which is pretty neat. And if you want to turn it off, you're going to hold it for two seconds as well. One, two, turns off just like that. So there are power source options. As you can tell right here, there's a USB-C. Um, so if you want to use a power bank with that as well, you certainly can. Um, but I highly recommend using these NP batteries. Uh, they're so efficient. I have many of them lying around. You'll hear me repeat that throughout the video. Let's talk about the installation for the battery. It's as simple as you have these connectors right here, which go perfectly into the battery right there. All you do is set it right and nice in there and switch just like that. I mean, that's as simple as it gets to put in a battery. Now don't forget, you're gonna have to hold this switch right here and push to let the battery out. In, out. It's as simple as that. Another thing I want to discuss is the LED right here, which tells me how much juice I have in the fan, how much juice is in this battery. When it's plugged in via USB-C, the battery indicator shows 100%. Uh, another thing that's worth noting here is the expansion interface. This is a quarter inch hole right here, which is good for a monopod, a tripod, even a boom pole as well, which you could use. Um, this is also a quarter inch RE locating hole as well. For those of you that have that, um, that'll fit nice and snug at a quarter inch right there. So I love this expansion interface. Um, but let's be honest, we're gonna be using this handheld most of the time, but we have those options right here if we wanna attach this to a tripod. Um, if you're a one person crew. So let's talk about some of the features of the fan. I love how lightweight this is. I mean, it feels like lighter than a camera lens, to be honest. So it fits right in your bag perfectly. It's cordless, so I'm very big on no cables. I don't wanna have any cables in my setup. The less cables, the better, which is why I like to use wireless microphones. And now we have wireless fans. 
Now, one thing I want to note here is that the CW and CW10 stands for Cine Wind, which is intended for cinema. Adjustable wind speeds up to 31 miles per hour. Let's see exactly how fast that is. Now that's 11,000 rotations per minute on max, which is insane, 11,000 rotations per minute. I like the LED display to indicate the current wind speed and remaining battery power. All you gotta do is just push the dial once and it tells you how much juice is in the battery. We are at 94%, 94 to 95. I've noticed that it, it, it toggles between two numbers. So you can basically say it's at 94%, 95 right there. When you plug the CW10 in with a USB-C while the battery is plugged in, it actually charges the battery. So if you ever need to charge on the go, that's one way to do it. I really respect the attention to detail here with the built-in tangle-free stainless steel mesh for enhanced safety. That way children can't put their fingers in here. Hair can easily be sucked into the fan. So that's that's quite marvelous. And, and, and far, as far as the design goes, you know, they kept safety in mind and I, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, lastly, I wanna talk about the ergonomics of the fan. Uh, this is so tiny and so small, it can fit into tight spaces like the trunk of a car if you wanna get that Quentin Tarantino style shot. You gotta love the ultra mini design. So what are some of my final thoughts? If you're a photographer or a videographer, chances are you're gonna have some spare NPF batteries just lying around. And uh, you know, that makes operating the CW10 even easier. I'll say no built-in battery could be a miss for some people. But like I said earlier, I have tons of these batteries lying around. So swapping them out instead of waiting for a potential built-in battery to charge saves me some time in the long run, especially in the middle of a production. I appreciate the metal mesh. So foreign objects don't get drawn into the fan. They thought of everything. This stops your fingers from getting drawn into the fan, but also prevents hair from getting sucked in as well. The LED indicator is a great addition. I personally prefer seeing the descending numbers as the battery usage depletes versus the four bars. It lets me know exactly how much juice I have till the very last drop. As a video director, the CW sparks tons of visual ideas for in-camera special effects. I personally can't wait to try them out. I haven't seen a fan intended for videographers before. They're usually just common fans that you see on productions or people you know, waving a plastic or cardboard just at the model's face to get a reaction or to get some sort of semblance of air movement. Um, so having a dedicated fan intended for videographers is amazing. Now this is just me, this is just my prediction, but I can see the CW10 fan being just as ubiquitous as ring lights were. I remember when ring lights first came out, people kind of rolled their eyes, like who's gonna use that? The vanity, right? Um, people are going to be using these fans in the future as well, mark my words. Well, that about wraps it up for the Nightcore CW10. If you're a photographer or a videographer, what are some epic ideas you have for this fan? Comment below and let us know. And if you've made it to the end of the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so very much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.